Huling dalawang ulit po. Kung pamilyar na po kayo sa tona, pwede niyo po ako sabayin ng mas malakas po. Ulitin po ang tanang ng salmo. Maraming salamat po. Good morning, everyone. Before we begin the Mass, we wish to remind everyone to focus on the celebration of the Eucharist. May we request that cell phones be turned off. As a reminder to everyone, please take good care of your personal belongings. 
do not leave them unattended. Please do not leave your trash inside our church. Parents are, likewise, reminded to look after their children and not let them play or loiter around while Mass is going on. For an orderly distribution of communion, this will be done by rows. We continue to remind everyone to wear the proper attire in attending the Mass. You can see the tarpaulin near our entrance on the proper dress code for the Holy Mass. As a precautionary measure, let us wear face masks at all times, observe social distancing, stay on your seat, and receive Holy Communion by the hand. Wedding bands. The following couple intend to receive the sacrament of matrimony. Renz Christopher C. Pantaleon and Sheila Joy B. Arcilia. Charles G. Oledan and Jessa Roxanne S. Cabrera. Please check our bulletin board located outside our church. If you know of any impediments to this union, please notify the parish office. Thank you. During the Eucharistic celebration, we invite everyone to actively participate by joining in the singing and reciting the responses flashed on the screen.
please all rise and we will now begin the Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our perversion, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with the wits out of love for the world. Your Son handed himself over to death through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O oh my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them, 
and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. But if Christ is in you, Although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Oh, Jesus. 
am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, See, come and see, sir. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, Now see how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus perturbed again came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. But Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there, there will be a stench. But he, had, he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out tied hand and foot with burial hands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. We will reflect on the resurrection or death and the resurrection. 
as realities of our life. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? This is the question of Jesus to Martha. Do you believe this? And this is also the question of Jesus to each one of us. Do you believe this? Do you believe that he is the resurrection and the life? Do you believe that Jesus is the resurrection and the life and anyone who believes in him will never die? Even if he dies or she dies, she lives or he lives. And Martha said, I know my brother will live on the last day, but he is now dead. And Jesus very, very subtly corrected Martha. No, Martha. Your brother is still alive now. Even if he is dead, he is still alive. What is that? Meron po tayong dalawang buhay. Magkasabay po yan. Hindi magkarugtong magkasabay. Life, earthly life, and eternal life. Yung buhay na walang hanggan, at yung buhay na makalupa. Pag tayo namatay, ang nawawala lamang sa atin ay buhay na makalupa, pero tayo ay patuloy na nabubuhay sa buhay na walang hanggan. There is no moment in our life that we are dead the moment we are born hindi po tayo na mamatay. Yung po yung napakalaking hiwaga at uh, grasya sa ating kaloob ng Panginoon, we don't die. Kaya eh, walang saysay ang magpakamatay. Sapagkat pag magpakamatay tayo, ang mawawala lamang sa ating yung makamundong or um, earthly life, pero patuloy pa rin po tayo nabubuhay. It does not change anything. Akala natin, ah, makapagpahinga na ako kasi patay na ako, wala na akong iisipin. No, you are still alive. We are still alive. Sapagkat patuloy tayong nabubuhay sa buhay na walang hanggan. But, what is eternal life? If it is not spent with God, what is eternal life if it is not a happy life? What is eternal life if it is not a peaceful life? What is eternal life if it is not a meaningful life with our loved ones? Wala ding saysay ang eternal life, ang buhay na walang hanggan, na wala namang katuturan. That is why it's not only that Jesus promised us eternal life but he also promised us that he will give us in the resurrection glorified body buhay uh, katawang walang bahit ng kasalanan katawang wala ng kamatayan walang pagtanda walang pagkakasakit it is a kind of body that is perfect for eternal life. No more weakness, no more inclination to sin, no more concupiscence. It is a glorified body, chaste and pure body that will be given to us in the resurrection. Tayo po ay tao at ang tao ay laging kaluluwa at katawan. Kaya ibabalik sa atin ng Panginoon ang ating katawan, yun nga lang maluwalhati na ang katawang ibabalik sa atin. And there you are, 
we are we will have eternal life we will have glorified body and what else wala nang kamatayan wala nang kalungkutan wala nang sakit kundi ang mamamayani ay buhay na walang hanggan at kapayapaan sa piling ng Panginoon. Yung po yung ating, eh, ang pangako sa atin ng Panginoon. That is why, para sa mga Kristiyano, Katoliko na nakakaunawa ng pangako ng Diyos at sumasampalataya, kaya nga tanong ni Jesus, do, do you believe this, Martha? Naniniwala ka ba nito? Those who believe in Jesus, sabi niya, will see the glory of God. Pag tayo naniniwala, tayo ay sumasampalataya sa mga pangakong ito ng Panginoon ng muling pagkabuhay, ng buhay na maluwalhati, ng, bu- ng katawang maluwalhati, na wala ng lahat ng kasamaan, we will not be afraid to die. And even in front of death, and even in the a presence of the death of the loved one, We are sad, of course, because of the temporary separation, but we are still filled with hope. One day, yun lagi ang naririnig natin, pangako ng pang, one day we will see our dead brother or sister again. One day we will be with our beloved again and with God. And we will not die anymore. Ang kamatayan sa salitang Griego ay karetestai. Karetestai. Ang ibig sabihin niyan ay tanikalang panggapos. It is a chain. At itong tanikalang panggapos na ito ay walang lahat ng may bahit ng kasalanan ay hindi makakagapi, hindi makakapatid. hindi makakaalpas. And so before the coming of Jesus, lahat ay ginapos ng kamatayan at walang naka-escape. Yun ang dahilan kung bakit sa ating uh, credo, sinasabi natin sa ating pananampalataya, siya ay nanaog sa, ika, sa ika, kinaroroonan ng mga yumao. Sa ikatlong araw, siya na naog sa kinaroroonan ng mga yumao na nakagapos ng kamatayan na hindi makaka-escape. Pero dahil si Jesus ay walang kasalanan, walang kapangyarihan sa kanya ang panggapos ng kamatayan. Kaya nga ang mga mamary, Immaculada Concepcion, hindi po siya namatay, iniakyat po siya sa langit, katawan at kaluluwa. sapagkat ang kamatayan ay walang kapangyarihan sa Kanya. Anong ginawa ni Jesus ang sinanaog sa kanyaroonan ng mga yumao? Sumilip? <laughs> Namasyal? Hindi. Ayon sa ating pananampalataya, pinakawalan niya ang lahat na nandudoon. Katulad ng sinasabi niya dito kay Lazarus, Lazarus, Lumabas ka at sabi niya, sapagkat siya yung nakagapos, nakatali, no? Naka, ng mga kayong lino, sabi niya, untie him and let him go. Kalagan ninyo siya nang siya makalaya. Ang pinakamatinding paglalaya natin na gagawin ng Panginoon ay yung kanyang pagkalag sa atin sa pagkapos ng kamatayan. Kung kaya niya tayong pa, eh, kung kaya niya tayong kalagan sa kapag-gapos ng kamatayan, what will be impossible for God to liberate us from? 
kung kaya na tayong eh, palayain mula sa pagkagapos ng kamatayan, meron po bang makakagapos sa atin na hindi tayo kayang palayain ng Panginoon? Na hindi na tayo kayang kalagan? Nothing of our weakness. Nothing of our sinfulness that the Lord is Im- is impotent to let us free. Kakalagan tayo ng Panginoon at hilingin natin sa Kanya na hindi lamang niya tayo kakalagan doon sa panggagapos ng kamatayan pagkos palayain din niya tayo sa lahat ng mga gumagapos sa atin. Kahirapan, sakit, Sakit? Sama ng loob? Dusa? I don't know. But the Lord has the power to liberate us from anything that binds us, enslaves us. In this Holy Mass, let us thank the Lord because He has graced us. Grace upon grace. Sabi ni San Pablo, eh, Kaloob. Grabe yung kaloob. Abot. Abot, abot na kaloob ang mga inihahanda ng Panginoon para sa atin. Hindi lamang sa buhay na ito, lalo na sa buhay na darating natin. Ganon kaganda ang plano ng Diyos na naghihintay para sa atin. At sa ngayon, tayo ay inihahanda ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng pagtanggap ng kanyang mga pangako sa pananampalataya. Let us thank the Lord for all the grace and blessing that He has bestowed on us, especially the blessings and the grace yet to come. The resurrection, eternal life, eternal happiness with Him in the kingdom of God. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven heaven and and earth, and and in in Jesus Jesus Christ, His only Son, our our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of the Virgin Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Sisters and brothers, today we are reminded that the Lord is our resurrection and life. Let us therefore hope and believe in the Father's unfailing promise of life as we say, Faithful Father, you are our life. Faithful Father, you are our life. Make us your church, remain faithful to your promise of resurrection in our prayer and service towards each other and all people of goodwill. We pray, Faithful Faithful Father, Father, you you are our life. life. Help all those who govern hope for the resurrection that their service may bring new life to their countrymen. We pray, Faithful Faithful Father, Father, you are our life. Move our hearts towards repentance and be reconciled with you and with each other as we come close to Holy Week and the remembrance of your Son's Paschal Mystery. We pray, Faithful Father, you are our life. We lift to you our poor brethren, the indigenous and other minorities. May they also hope for their own resurrection. 
We pray, faithful Father, you are our life. Raise our departed loved ones into new life when the time finally comes. We pray, faithful Father, you are our life. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, faithful Father, you are our life. Faithful Father, raise us into new life through the passion, death, and resurrection of your beloved Son. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us Almighty God that having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith Gracefully purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exalt and praise as we acclaim. Thank you. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all rise. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us ready to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Isidore, our patron, and all the saints who have preached throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, Forever and ever. Let us pray in the prayer that Jesus taught us. <laughs> Thank you. 
spirits will be free from every evil grace to grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ <laughs> Christ has said to you, Apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the peace of the Lord. Peace be with you. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Now let us listen to Reverend Father Joseph Alvin Hanito from Comboni Missionaries. Good morning, everyone. Guys, good morning. I am Father Andrin. 
Benito, originally from Jensen, member of the Comboni Missionaries. This morning, we paid a visit to your parish to present our magazine. This is part of our ministry of the Comboni Missionaries in the Philippines, is to produce this magazine called World Mission Magazine. And I think a good number of you are already subscribers to this, but after the pandemic, a good number of you uh, forgot to, to renew your subscription. So this morning, we are reminding you, those who are subscribing to your magazines, to please renew your subscriptions. And those who don't know yet our magazine, this magazine contains the missionary activities of our church here and abroad. It gives us stories and testimonies of not only Filipino missionaries, but also other nationalities. Now, subscribing to this magazine is your pledge to assist the missionary work of our church. The call of our baptismal vows is to share our living faith in Christ to people who don't know yet Him. Now, we cannot make it to, to, to go to the mission lands to, to bear witness to our faith. With your prayers and your financial support, by way of subscribing to your magazine, you are showing your support to us. And so, this is a way for you to, to, to support the missionary church, our mission activities of our church. After the Mass, we will be very happy to welcome you to our tables outside. This side, we have Abby Suleng and Nicole, and also uh, Les, and also that side, we have Ate Chona and Judy. This would cost you 700 pesos a year, and monthly, you shall be receiving this magazine. If you don't have 700, 400 will do. You can pay it through cash or GCash. After the Mass, very happy to see you. Thank you so much for your attention. Padre. Thank you, Reverend Father Joseph Aldrin Halito from Comboni Missionaries. Announcements. We invite everyone to join us in our Stations of the Cross here in the church on Friday, March 31, after the 6.30 evening Mass. April 2 is Palm Sunday. The first blessing of palms on this day will be at the Barangay Covered Court at 7 in the morning. This will be followed by a procession going to the church. For the succeeding Masses, blessing of palms is at the start of the Mass. There will be no blessing of palms outside of the Mass. There will be blessing of palms in the Saturday anticipated Mass of April 1. The parish will hold a pabasa on Holy Tuesday starting at 4.30 in the morning. Holy Thursday celebration of the Lord's Supper and washing of the feet on April 6 will be at 5 in the afternoon. The parish Good Friday Stations of the Cross on April 7 will be at 5 in the morning along GM Homes. Assembly at the parish church is at 4.45 in the morning. Everyone is invited. The Good Friday Veneration of the Cross will start at 2.30 in the afternoon with the recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet, procession of the Santo Entierro and the, Dolor the Dolorosa follows after the veneration of the cross. To those joining, please bring candles and wear masks. Easter Vigil on April 9, April 8 will be at 9 in the evening. To those attending, Kindly wear white and bring candles with drip holder. Venue of the Easter Salubong on April 9 at 5.30 in the morning will be at the Barangay Almansa Uno. Mama Mary will come from Gonzales Compound and the Risen Lord from Villanueva Compound. Mass follows at 6 in the morning. Thank you for cooperation in observing our necessary health protocols. On behalf of our parish priest, Monsignor Allen Aganon, and his assistant, Father Jewel Palmani, our sincere thanks to Reverend Father Nadi Maria Meren, OSM from St. Peregrine La Chaussee Parish, for presiding in today's Eucharistic celebration. Let us 
all give him a big round of applause. Please all rise. I just would like to reiterate the message of Father Comboni missionaries to help in the mission because it is our duty, every one of us. And Jesus Christ said, go to all the world and proclaim the gospel. And since they do it for us, let us help them, support them. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and grace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.